So this is how it sounds with the effect. And this sounds without it. That is exactly what I meant by parallel compression. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm JSCar, and today we're gonna be checking out a new parallel compressor plugin by Baby Audio. This isn't a sponsored video, so I'm gonna give you guys my actual opinion on it. So let's get right into it. All right, so this plugin is called IHNY2. Like the press release said, this plugin is not supposed to be a neutral plugin. If you're watching this and you're like, oh, this sounds, it's not supposed to be neutral. It's supposed to be in your face type of thing. If you don't know what parallel compression is, it's basically creating a second signal that is extremely slammed with compression. And then you play around with the levels of both signals. And they basically achieve this in just one plugin without having to send it to another channel and by only using this little circle. So let's play around with the circle. Let's see what it does. Let's turn on tooltips on. Okay. Something different from this parallel compression from the other parallel compressions that they had is that you can actually control the compressor's behavior. So you can tweak with this panel over here. You can tweak both the attack, the release of the, the compression. You can also affect ratio. You can also affect a the punch, which supposedly over here, it's, it says that it emphasizes the attack transients on percussive material. Besides that, you also find harmonics, which is a sort of gain reduction dependent harmonic saturation. There's also a shape with, it sort of emphasizes high and low frequencies, basically an EQ. Then we got this option here called tilt. It's supposed to move or tilt your sound, as you can see on the signal. That's actually very intuitive, telling you where it's lying to, right? Now, to finish off the options that you have, you got your high preserve and your low preserve. So you can, so let's play around with this options. Right there, for example, it sort of sounds like you're not really affecting the kick. Let's see if it more harmonics. Let's see what this sounds. Oh, this is nasty, bro. This is incredibly exaggerated. So let's put this down a little bit around around it here, I'm guessing. So let's give it more harmonics. You can definitely hear this and it sounds fantastic. Let's see if we can affect the transients actually affected. All the, all, all the way in. Let's see if we, let's see how this preserved highs sound like. Okay, not bad. Now let's play around with another, uh, let's see how this sounds. This is a more relaxed thing, you know? Let's just see like this. Let's play around with a tweak. Uh, let's add more harmonics to this. Just because I think the harmonics part is my favorite one. Ooh, this saturation is definitely crazy. Of course, it's a, it's a bit exaggerated. What if we only put it on the mid frequencies? Hmm. What if we add more punch to the mid frequencies? Add more. Hmm. Remember, we can change the attack on this. You can definitely notice it. It depends on the sound that you're working on.
Of course, if you're doing parallel compression, you want to have like a almost short release for this, just so you can actually notice the difference. Let's bypass it. <laughs> so this is how it sounds with the effect. And this sounds without it. That is exactly what I meant by parallel compression. That is exactly, this is exactly why you would use parallel compression to create a second signal that is extremely compressed and actually give some body to your main audio, to your dry signal. I think this sounds fantastic. Let's give it a shot on another, in another sound. I love the ability that, that you have with the tweak panel. To be honest, that's something that I'm really enjoying. Let's play this again. Let's see what this sounds. Now we're going to play another synth by Kashmir. It sounds really cool. Let's go all the way down. Let's see how it sounds just with any effects on it or without any changes. Let's remove it. See how it sounds without it. And then with it. Of course, this is an exaggeration. This is not how you would use it. Or maybe you would, but I, I think something around here is like the sweet spot, like around here. But what if we play around with everything else? That is where the fun parts with this thing, now that I'm seeing. I think it is useful. From where we are right now, I think that it is useful. Let's add some distortion because we love distortion. Okay, let's let's try to add more punch to it. Oh, you can actually hear it. Let's add more highs and more lows. Let's tilt it so it's more highs. So it's more highs focused. Something like this. Let's get rid of the lows so they preserve. Usually I don't like affecting that with multi-band. Let's see if we can play around with this release. Of course we want to affect it. Around like 30%. Let's see if the attack changes. I would put something like this. Uh, this is how it sounds without it. This is how it sounds with it. I, I mean, it sounds fantastic. If you really want something that sounds in your face, I think this plugin actually does what it says. So. Big ups to Baby Audio. This plugin does what it says. And I think that's all I care about. Because not only does it say it does something and then it does it right, but it also gives you extra options to make it even better. I think this plugin works. I think it gets the job done and it makes parallel compression much easier. I've actually been struggling with parallel compression on drums because I don't have a template and whenever I want to do it, I have to create another signal. Then I have to create open whether I use Maximus or whatever I'm going to use in order to create the parallel compression that I'm looking for. And it usually takes so long that I just end up not doing parallel compression and just do something else. So I think this works pretty good. So I'll give you guys, I give, I'll give, I'll give baby audio a thumbs up. Okay. Baby audio. You guys got a thumbs up. Um, like I've said, this video is not a sponsor, so they're not sending me money for me to talk about this. I think it's a cool plugin. It's a bit slow on my computer, and, it, and that might be happening because I'm recording 4K, but let's pretend that's not why it happened. So, Baby Audio, please enhance the performance. <laughs> All right, guys, you know I'm just kidding. Um, I'll see you guys in another video. If anyone's watching this video and creates plugins, send me all the plugins that you want. I am officially back on YouTube, so expect more videos from me. I'm gonna be reviewing a ton of BSTs. I actually, bro, you guys are not gonna believe me, but I actually spent about two weeks sending a message to every single company that I could think about. And most of them sent me free copies. So <laughs> we're gonna go through a, a lot of them. And hopefully you guys find something that's interesting. To me, Vavi Audio has surprised me because all of the plugins that they have sent me I started using on my own productions, like Super BHS, like Vivi Audio, IH, and Y. I'm going to, like this parallel compression thing, I'm going to be using it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm so, so glad to be back. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.